Hey, what's up guys? This is Josh here and today I'm bringing you a review of the DC Collectibles New 52 Crime Syndicate Deathstorm figure. Now, before anything, uh, again, I'd like to mention that you can create this big giant silhouette with all the silhouettes from the different packagings. It looks nice. Uh, Alright, now let's dive right into detail. I really like this guy. He reminds me of Ghost Rider. Um, I'm a huge fan of skulls and whatnot. And yeah, just this guy looks crazy. Uh, he is the alternate version of Firestorm. I think this guy has the. Cr I think Firestorm has the most crazy alternate version because, like, Deathstorm has a skull and like these f crazy flames and just he looks like Ghost Rider in that. But uh. His nice detail skull is like a white color, and of course you can see like black wash in there. You can kind of see there. He has this nice orange plastic, clear plastic for his flames in his eyes, and he's got the nice maroonish red for like his helmet. It looks really great. You can even see the detail in his teeth, which is cool. Uh, one thing I find really really awesome about this guy if you put him in the light it being clear orange plastic and whatnot feels if you can kind of see it shines through like a nice light piping uh, which is really good really cool uh, the rest of his body his torso has like this flat black color with the death storm logo right there and like a maroonish or not maroonish yeah like a maroonish color uh, and just the rest of it's pretty plain. He has this nice red trim though on the bottom. Uh, one thing I'd like to point out that his arms are rubber, like from his, sh uh, from the bottom of his shoulder down to like the top of his glove here. It is like this rubber tube material that they put over like the joint inside. To like to hide it, but uh, the Anarchy figure from Arkham Origins had this, but I don't think it was really necessary on Death Storm because even if you would have put a hinge or arm articulation there, it wouldn't have looked too bad. It wouldn't have broke up the sculpt, so I don't really understand why they added the rubber, but it's neat nonetheless. He has shiny gloss arm gauntlets there. You can see the sculpt looks really good he's got flat black gloves to kind of break up the shiny black uh, the rest is just a maroon color and he's got shiny gloss black boots with like the sculpting on it looks very nice very plain but very nice uh, for articulation he's got a ball joint but he can't look up and down too much because the way his head is sculpted with the big chin and the back of the head but it can look side to side and it can kind of rock uh, he's got a ball socket shoulder uh, now for the inside of the arm he does have a hinged elbow but I don't know if there's any swivel in there mine's kind of kind of weird because uh, I don't think they put this rubber piece on right as you can see you can kind of see it splitting at the top there but that's no big deal He's got a swivel at the wrist, and he's also got a hinge, but the hinge is kind of hindered from these arm gauntlets because he's got the piece that sticks out there, so it kind of hinders it. Uh, he's got a nice ab crunch. He's got a swivel at the waist. Uh, he's got ball jointed hips, thigh swivel, double hinged uh, knees. He's got a hinge and a pivot at the ankle, which is really nice. Uh, if I didn't mention any of my other videos, these figures are sculpted by Gentle Giant Studios. Uh, which is kind of funny because all the figures with added articulation like these guys, they're all sculpted by Gentle Giant. So I don't know if it's Gentle Giant adding the articulation or if that's the new, uh, new sculpting people for DC Collectibles. But one thing that I don't like about them is with uh 
with them being more articulated uh, they kind of sacrifice the quality of the plastic it's made out of this clear plastic and I know everybody's been talking about it and everybody doesn't like it but what are you gonna do and also I'm not a big fan of ankle articulation just because uh, stability issues and over time the joints may loosen up but that's my personal gripe but yeah for size comparison let's put them with the other crime syndicate members they look very nice together of course if you're gonna get one you gotta get them all because they're the crime syndicate but yeah guys that was my review of the DC collectibles new 52 crime syndicate death storm he's a pretty badass figure I recommend them if you're getting the rest of the crime syndicate or if you just you're a fan of skulls and flames and ghost rider looking things you might want to try picking this guy up but hope you liked my review uh, comment rate subscribe if you feel like it check out my other reviews like the powering ultraman and superwoman I probably won't be doing owlman and Johnny quick just because they've been reviewed like to the moon and back and yeah that's about it all right guys i'll catch you later and take care